Hey, my name is Dorothy and I'm going to show you how to use the microscope that has the attached camera on top. It seems simple and it really is. Don't break it because if you break it, you buy it and it's probably more than your whole year's tuition. <laughs> this is the cord that attaches to the camera. This is the camera on top of the scope. So do not break this either. It's just a USB cord, but you don't want to put a lot of tension on here because this camera does rotate. It's set so that it's the same way. You're going to need a laptop or a computer. You're going to put your USB cord into the USB port on your computer. I have pre-downloaded this program. This is called Infinity Capture. It's a free program that you can download off of the website. It's safe. It has a PC and a Mac version, so you're good to go. Your power cord, like any other power cord, has a shaped male part that goes into the shaped female port. Make sure you put it in the right way or you will break it. Plug your microscope in. The power switch is on the side here. You have two light toggle switches. This is for the base lamp up and down here. This is for the um, dissecting lamp basically up and down here. There's also another apparatus that you can add for dissecting that I'm sure the wonderful Emily will show you. In order to use this, here's your coarse and your fine, um, what do you call that? Change. Range, range whatever. So you open up your capture program on your computer. If it opens pretty fast, you have a window like this. You have a choice. This is at 100%. I personally like to shoot at 75 because you get a better frame in your photo. If you have something on your microscope here and you're ready to take a picture on the side here, you just pull this straight out. Troubleshooting. <laughs> Troubleshooting. Let's try again. Let's reopen the program. Oh, that's why, because it wasn't connected. It's because the cord wasn't connected all the way. Now the green light is on, telling me that it is connected. So, you put your little thing under there. You put. Oh, it is there. It's just dark. There. So there is my finger, or my hand, rather. See it moving. And then when you want to take a picture, you take your little arrow and you click on still image and it takes a picture and then you can save your image as whatever you want. You can save it on your desktop, etc. You can also video. So say you're dissecting something or you have something alive on your camera. You click video, then you have to name it, test, and then you have to click start. And so now it is videoing my hand moving around or say a worm or whatever you want. Then you click stop and you have to click browse to now save it. So now you save it as an MP4 on your desktop or wherever you have set it up. And then once you cancel, if you don't click browse and you just hit start and stop, it will not save your video for you. Okay, so that's how you use the camera. If you want, as you can see, well, you can kind of see now so the camera is set up so that it's at the correct angle. If you turn the camera, it'll be upside down. Basically, that's the deal. When you go to turn it off, close the program, undo from your computer. Be very, very careful with this special cord. So I usually wind it up really nicely. It's not very nice right now. <laughs> and put it away. I st we stow the cord here. What you don't want to have happen is any stress on this part. Okay, it needs to be stress free. So nice and loose. It's okay if it's ugly, but loose is more important than a really pretty cord. Unplug, turn off. This comes out to also not create stress on the port. And put it away in the cupboard and you're done. Thanks, Dorothy.